All right, welcome to another mental fitness exercise. It's a guided meditation that can potentially induce neuroplasticity or changes in the brain. Well, all meditation is changing your brain as you practice, but this one is very powerful because we're essentially recoding or reconsolidating old memories. It's a technique that is similar to one called remembrance in the Watoto tribe, indigenous people in South America and both Colombia and Peru. And there's some interesting research on this type of memory reconsolidation, which potentially involves new neural connections as the brain rewrites its code involving or linking certain memories to a threatening response. For example, it was shown in four experiments that a positive reinterpretation of an old negative memory actually changed the memory, and it, it changed the brain activity associated with that memory. So that's basically what we're doing here. Without further introduction, you can go ahead and make yourself comfortable. And begin the meditation just by relaxing from the top of your head, scanning down your body, and releasing any obvious tension, intending to soften any places where you're holding, like your neck and shoulders, and your arms. Scanning down your torso, your back, and down through your legs. You can take a couple of deep breaths. And this will also help relax your body, especially if you Make your exhale longer than the inhale, allowing yourself to be comfortably at rest and at ease. And then from here forward in the course, I'd like to begin these meditations with just a minute of doing nothing at all. This prevents a kind of striving attitude. So just sit there with a smile, enjoying. You don't have to control anything. Let everything be as it is. Just a little inner smile, like, it's okay. The world's okay the way it is. I'm okay the way I am. Everything's fine right here, right now. We'll begin the method by bringing up a positive emotion. We've talked about a few ways of doing this. You can use the feeling of metta by using a phrase like, may I be happy, or picturing a cute baby or animal. Or a close friend, whichever of those most easily generates this warm feeling, this positive emotion. So choose just one of those three and then sink into that feeling, intending it for yourself. May you be happy. May you feel this way.
you can also use a happy memory. You can think of a time when you were very happy, very much at ease, and sink into that feeling. What matters here is the feeling, which is a sign that you've activated a positive emotion. And the feeling might be subtle at first. It might be very slight tingling or vibration, like a warmth in the chest. But that's your object of meditation now. That's the sign that your mind is in this positive state. And then you can stay with that feeling and let go of the image or memory once you have it there, once you have the feeling. So you're just kind of stewing in it, enjoying the feeling. And there might be other thoughts, other things coming into your mind. And that's okay. You just stay with the feeling. But once your mind is completely taken away, it's no longer meditating, it's off daydreaming, then you use the four R's. Recognize, that happens on its own. Release, which means let go of any tension in your mind, any tension in your body. The release step is like opening a tight fist. You allow your mind to expand back out. Then you relish, you come back to the positive feeling. And you may need to bring back up the positive feeling. And then you remain with that as long as you can. Again, your mind will wobble and wander off, and that's normal. We'll do this hundreds of times. If you're paying attention, that's perfectly, that means it's a good session. That means you're having more mental reps. That's your opportunity to recognize, release, let go of tension in your mind and body, relish and remain. So that in itself is a form of mental fitness exercise, a form of neuroplasticity. But now that we have this positive emotion, we'll add another a second part to this technique, which is to bring up a memory that's slightly negative something that annoyed you a little bit. But stay with the positive feeling. So not your most troubling memories. We just start with something a little bit annoying. Maybe it's a person that triggered you recently. And you picture them, but you stay with the positive feeling. And if your mind wobbles and there's too much negativity or turmoil, you can drop the memory, and come back to the happy one, come back to the happy feeling, the happy memory, or the metta. And then when you feel like, okay, I'm balanced again, then go to a memory, challenging memory, starting with ones that are easier to work with. And especially if you have serious trauma, then, then please don't work with anything very difficult. You can consult your mental health professional. Right now we're just working with annoying memories, little things. And once... You've worked with one memory. Your mind might tell you it's time to move on to another one. And you just tell your mind to bring up something that annoyed you a little bit.
don't have to dig too hard. It could just say, you could just think of the last time you got a little bit angry, a little bit impatient. And the sign that the memory has really been recoded is that when you think of it, there's no more negative emotional charge there. So that can take a long time with some memories, but other ones might flip quicker. And it's like, oh yeah, now when I think of that, it's okay, no big deal. I can let it go. This is the perfection of metta. The perfection of unconditional love. and has the potential to radically transform our lives because everything the mind has held on to, everything preventing it from being joyfully in the present moment can be released bit by bit as we write over our negative emotions that are stored up, our negative memories. And we do this by starting with ones that are very easy, ones that aren't so challenging, like, oh yeah, that's silly, why did I hang on to that? I can look at that with a smile. And bit by bit, we work with things that happened longer ago and things that left a little more of a scar. So feel free to keep meditating. And otherwise, I encourage you to come back to this method. Again, if you have serious past trauma, then you might first consult a mental health professional before going too deep with this but it's incredibly helpful to do this on a daily basis, not only with things that have happened earlier that day and any little interactions you've had that left some friction in your mind, but you can do this mental fitness exercise to recode and to radically change your mind and your state of being if you work through gradually all the negative memories that are kind of weighing you down. And yeah, thanks for taking the time to train your mind. I'll see you over in the lesson on living light, on how to be happy with what you have.